Great to be with you. I'm Aaron Perlman, and today our drought monitor uh, comes out. It comes out once a week on Thursdays. Now, obviously, we're out of the drought. There's this one small section in California, down the southern areas, in the eastern parts of the Mojave Desert, down into the Colorado River Valley, where we have a slither of moderate drought. Well, this whole section is exactly where our next big rain event is going to really take place. We just saw our last system exit. This is the remnants of Tropical Storm Eugene. That's what gave us rain from this last week. But now, here comes the big story. This is Hurricane Hillary, and this one's been ramping up. Earlier this morning, it was a tropical storm. Now it's a Category 2 hurricane, and it's growing. Remember, Hillary with 1L, uh, you can see it now. Wind speed's up over 105 miles per hour, and it's going to start to move in its path right towards the Mexican Riviera, I'm, I'm expecting a lot of cruise lines going to be hitting pause in this direction over the next couple of days. Heavy rainfall moving up to a Category 4 hurricane by Saturday, and then it stays a hurricane as it moves into uh, the Baja Peninsula, right through Ensenada in San Diego as a hurricane. It goes down to a tropical storm, potentially by times it makes its way into Palm Springs. But boy, I got to tell you, Look at all the rainfall that's going to be headed in this direction, and Kern County is in its path. Let's talk about that for just a moment. Let's look at the exact timeline. In our future cast model, you can see more of the cloud deck coming in. It doesn't really start to arrive until Saturday in the afternoon hours, eastern areas of Kern County in our desert locations. Fast forward to Sunday, and boom. Sunday's a big day when it comes to rain over in the desert areas and eastern areas of Kern County. What about Bakersfield? It's a good question. You look at this model a little bit closer, and you can see a lot of this hits areas just east of Kern County and down in Southern California. That red indicates somewhere around three to six inches of rainfall. But when you get down into Bakersfield, not that much rain, maybe about an inch tops. Mountain and desert areas, absolutely. It's unusual to get rain in August. Usually our average is zero, so to have this amount is big. Here's the global model, the American model. This is what it says. Now, this is... Early model, but this goes pretty aggressive. Almost two inches of rain for Bakersfield. Arvin, nearly three and three quarters. Five inches of rain over in Fraser Park. Our desert area is over an inch and a half to three inches, maybe four in Ridgecrest. What are we saying here at Iowa News and Weather 3? This is why you watch us. Get that pen and paper out. First off, I would say this. Our heat wave, we're going to go till Friday. Remember, it's still very hot. But once this hurricane moves in, Hurricane Hillary, Heavy rainfall Saturday evening into Monday will be the breath, maybe into Tuesday. And we're seeing three quarters of an inch tops for the valley, mountain areas, desert spots to three inches. So that's the game plan with this thing, with chances of rainfall really beginning for Bakersfield Sunday into Monday and exiting out on Tuesday. Temperatures will be down in the 80s.